Hey everyone, Mitchell Gould here, and in today's video, we're going to be setting up the Google Ads remarketing tag using Google Tag Manager. Um, just a quick note, you can use the chapters below to skip through different sections, and today we're going to be covering uh, a brief overview on what remarketing is, if you're not familiar with it, and then we're going to be setting up Google Tag Manager on a WordPress website, and then we're going to add the Google Ads remarketing tag to Google Tag Manager, and then I'm gonna show you how to create an audience in Google Ads for remarketing to users that visited your website. So let's go ahead and get started. So a brief remarketing overview. I just wanna give this example if you're not familiar with what remarketing slash retargeting is. So as an example, if we have a user that comes to your website, either maybe they came through Google, a Google Ad or maybe they came in through organic or some other source, and they visited your site, the Google Ads remarketing take uh, can track that user. So when they're visiting another site that allows display ads or they're on YouTube, you can uh, put a remarketing ad in front of that user and essentially just you know move the user through your buyer funnel, uh, remind them that you're there. Remarketing can be good to help you know boost your overall return on investment in your remarketing. If someone engaged with your site before, they're already familiar with you, so you can continue to nurture them and put ads in front of those users. Um, you can even do it with Google Search. Uh, if a user is typing in your keyword, plus they already visited your site, you can bid higher on those users and that can be helpful as well. Now we're gonna add the Google Tag Manager onto a, a WordPress website. So I'll go into my WordPress website here and we're gonna go into the plugin section and we're gonna click add new plugin. And then we're gonna search for WP code. And then we're gonna install this plugin right here, WP code, so we'll click install now. And then we'll click activate. So now we're gonna to go to the left-hand side here and we're gonna go into the code snippets. This is the plugin that we just installed and we're gonna to go to the header and footers section. And then what we need to do next is create a Google Tag Manager account and then paste in the code in the header and the body section and that will install Google Tag Manager onto your site. So if you haven't created a Google Tag Manager account, you can go uh, to this website here. I'll put it in the description of this video and you can create your free Google Tag Manager account. Once you create your account, you can log into it and you'll, you'll be on this workspace section of Google Tag Manager and you'll see your container ID and you'll click that container ID and this is gonna show the head and the body tag that we need to paste into our plugin. So we're gonna copy the head code and then we're gonna paste it into the plugin in the header section and then we're gonna go back and copy the body tag and we're gonna paste that into the body section of the, the plugin. So that's uh, pasted in, we can click save changes and then we can go back into Google Tag Manager and do a quick preview to verify that it's installed. So we'll, we'll click preview here and then we'll add in our domain for our website and click connect. And then we'll go into the Tag Assistant tab that uh, just popped up. So you can see it says Google Tag Found and we have our container ID there. So it's been installed successfully on our website. And then next we're gonna add the Google Ads remarketing tag to Google Tag Manager. So we'll go into our Google Ads account and then we're gonna to go to the tool section and then we're gonna go into audience manager. So that's tools, shared library, audience manager. And then once we're in the audience man manager section, we're gonna to go to your, your data sources. And then you'll see the section where it says Google Ads tag we're gonna click details and then we're gonna scroll down to where it says tag setup and then we're gonna click use Google Tag Manager and then we're gonna copy this conversion ID. So we'll copy that and then we'll go back into Google, Google Tag Manager and then we'll click, uh, we'll go into the tag section and we'll click new and we'll create a new tag and we're gonna call this Google Ads Remarketing. 
And then for the tag configuration, we're gonna click that, and then we're gonna go into the Google Ads tags, and then we're gonna click Google Ads Remarketing. And then we're gonna paste that conversion ID that we, we just copied from our Google Ads account. And then we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna to go to the trigger section. So we're gonna click triggering. And we want this tag to fire on all pages. So if a visitor, if a user visits our site, we wanna be able to track them on all our pages. So we'll click all pages. And then it says conversion linker tag is missing um, here. So if you haven't already created a conversion linker tag, we'll, we'll create that now. That just helps associate uh, users if they clicked an ad with, uh, with the tag. So we'll click create and then we'll have it uh, trigger on all pages and we'll call this the conversion linker. And there's, really, there's no configuration required and we'll click save. So we have the conversion linker tag set up and then we have our Google Ads remarketing tag set up. We have the conversion ID and we have it firing all, all pages and we'll click save. And then um, what we can do is click uh, preview and then click continue. And we're on the tag assistant here and you can see the Google Ads remarketing tag fired. So um, that was successful. That's the behavior that we want. And then we can go back into Google Tag Manager and we can publish this live. So the changes in our Google Tag Manager container will be live on our site. So we'll click Submit. And then you can give this a name if you want. I'll just say added Google Ads Remarketing Tag. And then we'll click Publish. And that published our two tags that are remarketing tag and the conversion linker tag. So uh, essentially the changes that we made, we added those tags to Google Tag Manager and then we click publish and that pushes it live onto our site. So next, we can go back into our Google Ads account and now your remarketing tag is set up. Um, it's live on the site, so if users are coming to your website, they can be added into a remarketing audience. So the last step is creating an audience, so you can bucket those people that are visiting your website. And for that, we'll go um, back into Audience Manager, and then under your Data Segment section, we'll click the blue plus icon and create a remarketing list. And then we'll click Website Visitors and then we can give the audience a name. And I called it all visitors 30 days because we're gonna set up an audience retar for retargeting anyone that visited any of your pages on your website in the last 30 days. So we have it set to visitors of web pages and then web page visit in the past 30 days. We can click refine action and we can add our domain here. Um, so we'll say page URL contains, and I'll put my domain here. So if they visit any of my pages on mitchellgould.com, uh, this is gonna capture those users into this audience. And then in the pre-fill options, um, since we just added the tag, there's not gonna be any members uh, in um, eligible to be uh, like pre-filled into this audience but we can just leave it as is. If you already had the tag installed and you're creating a remarketing audience, it will pull users that um, meet this criteria in the last 30 days. And then you can add a description if you want, that's optional, but we'll click create segment. So now this all visitors 30 day segment has been created and then it will start to populate and um, you'll start to see the size of it over time. So. Uh, once it's large enough, you can use that for retargeting users in the different ad types on Google and you're all set. So if you have any questions on that, any questions on remarketing, the tag setup, audiences, please put them in the comment section. I'd be happy to help out and uh, thanks for watching and have a great day.